Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a what sold video so I wanted to put together something since we've had quite a few sales recently. Let's jump into the computer and I'll tell you what we got. Before we get going here I just wanted to talk a little bit about how COVID has impacted our sales. Um, in the very beginning I think I went two weeks without any sales and I was a little worried that we just wouldn't have any sales. Um, that was in the beginning of March, and as spring progressed, we started getting a little bit more frequent sales. And uh, I'd say within the last month or so, things have been selling as usual, um, kind of up to our, our normal pace. The only problem was that since I get a lot of my inventory through auctions and thrift stores, most of those places were closed. So I wasn't able to restock uh, our inventory and make new listings so as our uh, total listings diminished so did our sales uh, now that thrift stores and auctions are reopening I'm hoping to get our supply um, or our inventory list back up so hopefully we'll get uh, things back to normal at least but in the meantime things have been doing okay not quite what we were doing or what we had been expecting but um, enough to help pay the bills so let's get in and we'll talk about some of these sales first up is this pentax kx film slr camera this was actually one of the first things that i listed back in december it took a little while to sell um, as I was going through auctions online, I just was cross-referencing the different cameras or equipment that I found and looking to see what they went for on eBay. This model of Pentax KX, it sells pretty well. Um, I was also helpful that this camera came with a couple different lenses and some accessory gear, uh, like a photo bag and stuff like that. Nothing of real real value but just you add it all together and it was a pretty good uh, listing I paid $31 for this back in December and it sold for $125 so eBay fees were $14.76 I did have it promoted um, PayPal fees were $6.79 and our net profit was $72.45 the buyer did pay for shipping Next up is this Bulwark FR coat. Um, I got this at a thrift store and I paid 31, no, sorry, that's the sale price. I paid $5 for this at a Goodwill. Um, FR gear, if you're not familiar, usually sells pretty well. It's very expensive to buy brand new. Um, my uniforms that I wear at work are roughly $200 a piece. So I knew that FR gear was gonna sell fairly well. I quickly looked up the comps and I saw that this model of, it's a Bulwark is the brand. Um, this model uh, of coat was selling pretty well consistently between 20 and $50. So I bought it for $5 and it sold for $31.25 eBay fees were $6.03, PayPal fees were $4.46, and our net profit was $18.76. The buyer paid for shipping on this. So keep an eye out for FR gear. Next up is this Memorex 50 pack of Lightscribe CDR uh, discs. I found this at a Goodwill, and let me see if I can find it here. Yep. I paid $2.99 and I can't remember whose video I was watching one of the other resellers on eBay I was watching their video literally the night before and so I, I otherwise I, I probably wouldn't have even thought to look up uh, CDR discs there it just seems like obsolete media so I didn't think about it um, but thankfully I saw that video and I wish I could remember who, who it was but I saw that video and so I knew that some different brands or types of uh, obsolete media sell pretty well and this was no exception. So again I paid $3 for this or $2.99 at Goodwill and I sold it for $65. Uh, 
eBay fees were $10, PayPal fees were $2.54, and our net profit was $49.47. So to me, I mean, that's a, that's a no-brainer. And it, it, I should note that this is a 50-pack. Um, the Memorex Light Scribes come in 10-packs, 100-packs, a bunch of different sizes, and each pack regardless of the size sells really well obviously the more discs there are the, the better it'll sell um, but even if the pack was open and some were used like they still for whatever reason this brand and this type of CDR discs sells exceptionally well so this one was a little scuffed up but it was sealed and brand new um, so keep an eye out for Memorex Lightscribe CDRs. And if you find other obsolete blank media, look it up because some of that is surprisingly valuable. Um, the next up is this, uh, it's a cat filter. Uh, it says right on there, it's a water separator filter. Um, I bought these back in February. I bought 10 of these at an auction and I paid $32.50 so that came to $3.25 per unit and initially they weren't selling really well I think I had one or two sales and then come March and April I sold the rest so I let's see here I sold 10 of these and See, I, I listed them for $26.95, but I did have to pay shipping on these. I paid $7.75 in shipping, um, and that's just because all of the other listings, the seller was paying for shipping. It was free shipping, so I felt like in order to compete, I would do the same. Uh, eBay fees came to $2.70, and PayPal fees were $1.13. So uh, all in all, net uh, net profit of each individual unit was twelve dollars and twelve cents and again I bought ten of them so that was a hundred and twenty dollars and this kind of opened up my eyes to buying uh, parts for equipment and vehicles like this is new old stock um, consumable parts this is a filter uh, you know foreseeably whoever buys this filter is going to need another one eventually so even though the overall revenue from each individual unit isn't that great, it's only one listing that you have to make and you can just continually sell it. So I was very happy with this listing. Um, it did really well and I will look out for more parts in the future. It's super easy to sell parts. You can see that they have a model number on them. Super quick to look up. This was 233-9856 made by CAT. Um, Super easy to look up, easy to get comps on, and just a really good sale. Uh, next up is this Canon film uh, point and shoot camera. This is a Sure Shot 80. I bought this at a thrift store for $3, and I took it home, I cleaned it up, um, I made sure that it was working, I put batteries in it, ran through all the functions and everything worked fine on it so that was nice uh, most camera repairs are fairly simple if you're comfortable taking them apart um, you know for three dollars of an investment I was fine even if I took this one apart and I couldn't get it to work that's not really that big a deal but I did sell it for thirty nine dollars and ninety five cents so that is a great return um, eBay fees were $4, PayPal fees were $1.55, and the buyer paid shipping. So our net revenue was $31.40. I look out for any film SLR, whether it's a, sorry, any film camera. Um, I prefer the SLRs, anything like that first Pentax KX, anything with a, a metal body. I can't believe how valuable some of these point-and-shoot cameras are. Um, I look out for the, the kind of the main five brands that I look out for are Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Pentax, and uh, Minolta. 
So those five brands, if it's any of those five and it's a cheap enough price, I'll buy it and look it up later. Um, if it's a, especially if it's a film uh, metal body SLR, those if you get those for five bucks, it's guaranteed money. Even if they don't work, even if you sell it for parts, you can still get ten bucks on it. So you can double your money easily. Uh, some of those are worth hundreds of dollars. So. Keep an eye out for cameras. Very, very lucrative. Um, and then the next thing here is this. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Uh, this came in one of the lots that I bought with those cat parts. Um, I have. It, it says it's a dual voltage regulator. I didn't look it up. I didn't. Um, I didn't really do any research in this. I, I was buying that lot regardless, and this was just kind of like a nice little bonus. This came with it, so at the end of the day when I was listing things, I looked it up at that point. Come to find out that it's actually worth a decent bit of money. Um, I, I broke it down, and so on that uh, actual lot that I purchased, I figured that $4 is what I spent to purchase this unit. Um, and it sold for seventy-two dollars and fifty cents. It let's see here. eBay's fees came to eleven dollars and forty-three cents. PayPal fees were two dollars and ninety cents. And our net profit on this item was fifty-four dollars and seventeen cents. So great return on this one too. Um, and like I said, it, had this been a unit all on its own, I might not have bought it because. I didn't even look it up, but it was just kind of a happy accident that it worked out that way. So that's just a handful of some of the sales that we've had over the last few months. Like I said, COVID kind of slowed us down, but we're just kind of picking up steam, getting back to where I thought we'd be. So that's good and refreshing. We could certainly use some help paying the bills right now. Um, that's not all the sales we had. That was just a handful of the ones that I thought were interesting. Um, like I said, we sold 10 of those cat parts uh, all together. I think it's been two months since my last video. And in that time, we've sold 36 items. I just finished listing. Uh, it's funny, after the success that I had with those cat parts, I bought another lot from an auction that opened up recently. And I bought just a, this big box of Ford parts. And the pictures weren't really great, and I had no idea what was in it. I couldn't look up the parts. I just I bought it sight unseen pretty much for, I think I paid $26 for it. Um, and I took it home and I started going through it and taking photos and listing stuff. And it's all sealed, new, new old stock Ford parts. Um, I think there's like 138 parts on there. I sold, sorry, before I get on myself. I figured that each individual unit or each listing that I came up with from that was going to be 19 cents each. And I sold the first one already uh, two days after listing for $20. So if these sell for what I'm expecting, uh, it's going to be a, a hundred times return on my investment. So I'm super excited about that, especially now that I'm done listing it. It was a pain to list uh, and photograph 138 listings all at once, but It'll be worth it in the long run. So uh, for the past few months, we sold 36 items and our net profit in that time was $579.65. So eBay is still helping us pay the bills. We're still doing um, pretty well with it for a side job. And I'm happy about that and the opportunities that we've had. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, thanks for watching.